So this is Atlas OS mentioned by Linus Tech Tips, Chris Titus Tech and who not. But wait, you've seen all these videos yet still haven't installed Atlas OS because you have even more questions? Well, let's answer all of them. What is Atlas OS? Atlas OS is a Windows mod that maximizes your laptop's performance and optimizes its latency. It used to be an ISO file till Microsoft took down Windows Ameliorated for distributing a Windows operating system. At the same time, Atlas shifted from an ISO as well to a playbook script that can be run using an AME wizard. What are the prerequisites before installing Atlas OS? Well, Atlas works both on older and newer hardware, but it's only for Windows 10. The Atlas team is still working on a Windows 11 version, but it isn't released yet. So for prerequisites, you just need a pen drive or USB stick to store the Atlas playbook script and the AME wizard. Apart from that, you'll just need some basic knowledge about Windows so you can go through everything easily. Is Windows original license needed before installing Atlas? Well, Atlas only runs on an activated Windows machine, so you will need to have a licensed Windows product key. Now, there have been many questions regarding which activation or which license you need, like Pro, Enterprise, or Home. I am, there are many different answers. I personally used a home version of Windows and it will definitely work out with Pro. I'm not sure about others like the Enterprise version or any other type. Features that will be disabled after installing Atlas OS. Atlas's playbook script disables a ton load of features. On the top of it, user account controller UAC, hyper virtualization, disk defrag, and background apps are disabled, but they can easily be enabled through the Atlas folder that will be on your desktop after you set up Atlas, so post setting it up. And then CPU mitigations are disabled by default, but a huge pop-up comes while you're setting up Atlas to enable them. Apart from that, Atlas removes updates, Windows Defender, Malware Removal Tool, Restore Points, Microsoft Edge, and quite some more services and features. These cannot be enabled via the folder, but you could try some other advanced methods like registry tweaks or something, but they do come stripped out. Check out the Atlas Twitter post or their website to know what is enabled again in version 3 and how you can do even more. What features are to be enabled again if Atlas OS is installed? For example, Windows plus A. So this is a nice question as the Windows plus A thing was brought up by me and I even fixed it myself. So as we know, Atlas disables a whole lot of stuff and sometimes your internet or audio might not be working. Those two can easily be fixed by just updating your drivers through the snappy driver assistant, which was also mentioned in the Atlas documentation. And apart from that, common issues like your printing not working can be fixed through the Atlas folder. Just go into the Atlas folder, configuration, general configuration, and printing. Then double click enable printing.cmd and restart your laptop if needed. And if you aren't able to install Microsoft Store apps or like general Windows application through the Microsoft Store, enabling UWP also for universal Windows platform should do the job. Again, in the general configuration folder, head into UWP and run enable all UWP.cmd. If you have any more issues, no matter what they are, you can always go to the Atlas documentation or just join our Discord server and get stuff done way more easily if you don't understand docs like me. Do we really need Atlas OS when we can just use Windows 10 with CTT tweaks using the one tool for everything software? Okay, so this is a good one. Chris Titus Tech's One Tool for Everything is a really powerful toolkit. It disables a lot of stuff as per your selections. I'd say the big difference is that CTT's tool does the tweaks based on your wants and based on what you select, while Atlas, well, it just does it straight up. On the other hand, CTT's tool also has a more variety of features like installing common apps, updating them, and a lot more. But when you compare it, Atlas, of course does a better job as it is intended only for that purpose. It can reduce processes and memory usage to a way higher extent than CTT's tool can do. But if you're willing to not install Atlas OS, then you should definitely use that tool and link is in the description. Given that Atlas OS strips out a lot of security features, is it safe for an average Windows user to be using it? 
Well, I would say no, not at all. An average Windows user would not be knowing about CPU mitigations and considering they're disabled by default could be a bad problem. And apart from that, Windows Defender, Health Check, Sec Health, Smart Screen, and the Malicious Removal Tool are all withdrawn. They cannot even be enabled back through the Atlas folder until version 3 is launched. So I would suggest that you wait till version 3 is out until you're really eager to try it. By how much does it improve CPU usage, RAM usage, FPS, etc.? That's a worthy question. On the Atlas website, it says that Atlas cuts down on a lot of Windows processes, background processes, and services, bringing the total processes count to 35, which was not true for me. I got it down to 50 processes at the bare minimum right after restarting it, from a total of 110 without installing Atlas. The website says it takes down RAM usage to 900 MB, while mine was at about 2 or 3 GB. Although that could be because of the type of memory such as DDR4 or DDR5, many people have said it doesn't lower it to that extent. FPS would probably depend more on your GPU and how well you installed your drivers, excluding the bloatware ones, but overall, yes, it gives a big boost. I tried a game that has a max FPS of 60, and I used to get 30 to 40 FPS, but on Atlas, I got a constant 55 plus frames per second, which is astonishing. Is there a point to using Atlas OS, or are there too many issues and hoops to deal with while setting it up? Atlas OS can be a huge pain to set up if you don't know a lot. If you want to keep your data, most YouTube videos suggest creating a partition and then doing a fresh install and then selecting the partition. This is quite intimidating in my opinion and you can counter problems such as the file system of the operating system being different from the file system of the partition. Apart from that, getting a Windows ISO from the media creation tool, burning it using Rufus and then changing your boot settings to be able to boot into the USB could be quite overwhelming. And after after that, installing the drivers and dealing with the issues related to Windows apps and whatnot could be really, really annoying. Although you can fix all of that through the files and registry tweaks like I did, it will take a lot of your time until you realize you had math homework to do. So my suggestion to all of you is that if you really, really want to install Atlas just because of all its hype, then you can do it. And also join my Discord server if you face any problems or want some tips. Otherwise, just wait. Let Atlas version 0.03 come out, which has way better security features with UAC enabled by default as well. If you want to see what changes are in version 3, check out the docs once again or their Twitter post. The thing I am most excited for was one thing that I suggested to them, but I'm not sure if they did it because of me or were already planning on doing it. They are going to be making a tool so that you can check if Atlas has done all its tweaks. This is useful to see if it's corrupt or there's still something missing or you want to do more tweaks. And they said that this will be coming out in version 0.03, so let's see if it happens. For those of you who are still here, I have a bonus tip. All the YouTube videos say for installing Atlas is that you should create a bootable pen drive with the Windows ISO in it. But I have been talking with the team members of Atlas on their Discord server and I may have found an easier way to do it when you won't have to create any bootable pen drive and all. So the reason the YouTubers say to do that is so that the extra bloatware drivers and the unnecessary drivers, the junk ones, don't get installed on your laptop. But if you do a system reset, it will create a freshly installed Windows for you. And if you do it without internet, the extra junk drivers and bloatware drivers won't be installed. So if you go into settings, updates and security, recovery, you'll see the reset option. When you click that, it will ask you some questions and you can do it. And when you're setting up Windows, you will have an option to choose your data. You can either keep the existing data or choose from a partition. Here, you won't need to go through the hoops of a partition. You can straight up just select keep your data and your files will all be there. Only the apps will go away. After that, just set up a normal Windows machine. And once it's done, you can turn your internet on, download the 
uh, AME wizard and the Atlas playbook script and then set up Atlas like you normally would. This is a way easier way. I haven't tested it out myself. I'll give it out a try. And if anyone does try it out, please do tell me in the comments. And if you are looking to tweak your Windows machine to make it cooler than your friends, then check out the video right over here. And please subscribe so I can finally go and touch grass. And lastly, thank you to my Discord members for sharing their questions. Link is in the description.